good morning today's topic initiation and conduction of heart beat heart it's very important because it pumps blood all over the body delivering oxygen and nutrients to your cells let me recall some important terms of heart which is helpful for today's topic heart has four chambers right auricle left auricle right ventricle and left ventricle and it has three kinds of septums interatrial septum septum is what division separating right auricle and left auricle are separated by interatrial septum right ventricle and left ventricle are separated by interventricular septum and atrium and ventricle are separated by atrioventricular septum there are four valves in the heart between the right atrium and right ventricle tricuspid valve between the left auricle and left ventricle bicuspid valve below the aorta aortic valve below the pulmonary artery semilunar valve these are the four valves present in the heart and the heart normally it pumps to push out the blood isn't it so how does it pump it is happening with the rhythmic contraction and relaxation so the contraction of the heart is called systole and relaxation of the heart is called diastole so this contraction and relaxation doesn't occur in the whole heart only the part of the heart contracts and the part of the heart relaxes let me tell you clearly first the auricle contracts that is auricular systole so the auricle part alone contracts and pushes the blood to the ventricle through tricuspid valve and bicuspid valve and next the lower part of the heart ventricle contracts then ventricle contracts auricle relaxes then ventricle contracts the blood is pushed out of the heart through aorta as well as pulmonary artery so this auricular contraction and ventricular contraction and then again the ventricular relaxation so systole and diastole occurs simultaneously this only makes the heart to pump the blood out of the body the whole heart is made up of cardiac muscle and it is myogenic in nature what is myogenic heart doesn't need any stimulation from the nerves it can generate the action potential itself it is the conduction how does it happen this conduction how does it happen it is happening with the help of sa node that is sinoatrial node where is sinoatrial node the sinoatrial node is located in the wall of the atrium right atrium just below the opening of superior vena cava this is sa node or sinoatrial node it is otherwise natural pacemaker of the heart what is its function it can produce electric impulses to the heart why this electric impulse is necessary this electric impulse only makes the heart to pump the blood continuously so this is very important sa node sinoatrial node produces the electric impulses in a moderate speed and this impulse is just carried to the left atrium also so only this impulse make the atrium to contract that is systole so this contraction make the blood to be pushed to the ventricles at the stage of contraction of auricle ventricle will be in a relaxed stage and this 
the impulse produced by the sinoatrial nodes cannot be passed through the atrioventricular septum instead it can pass only through atrioventricular wall or av node atrioventricular node so th only through this atrioventricular node the impulses electric impulses can be carried to the ventricle and what happens to the impulse this impulse is carried to the atrioventricular bundle this is the atrioventricular bundle otherwise bundle of his so his is a scientist who discovered this atrioventricular bundle so it is named after him so this bundle of his is uh, otherwise said to be atrioventricular bundle so the impulses are carried through the atrioventricular bundle and then to the ventricle left as well as right ventricle through purkinje fibers and that's how the impulses are carried all over the ventricle and makes the ventricle to contract so again very important to be noted the sa node is a natural pacemaker of the heart sinoatrial node which produces the electric impulses which is carried over throughout the atrium and makes the atrium to contract and thereby the impulses are carried to the ventricle through atrioventricular valve and then atrioventricular bundle or bundle of his and then to the purkinje fibers only these components help the heart to pump continuously first this auricular systole occurs and then ventricular systole occurs and then relaxation of the ventricle occurs that is diastole relaxation of the ventricle occurs this complete circulation of blood throughout the heart is said to be a cardiac cycle cardiac cycle lasts for about 0.8 second so here atrial systole that is contraction of the auricle so atrial systole occurs for 0.1 second and ventricular systole occurs that is contraction of the ventricle occurs for 0.3 seconds and then relaxation of the ventricle ventricular diastole occurs for 0.4 seconds so this is a cardiac cycle so naturally this pumping of the heart can be um, felt in a form of pulse normal pulse rate for a human being is 70 to 90 per minute so heart beat pushes the blood into arteries so then what happens the arteries expand due to the forced blood so this is what we say it as pulse this can be felt in the wrist area and then this um, conduction this uh, conduction is done with the help of sa node the sa node is a very very important pacemaker of the heart without that or if it is not producing normal impulse to the heart heart cannot pump properly okay thank you children action potentials originate in the sinoatrial node and travel across the wall of the atrium from the sinoatrial node to the atrioventricular node action potentials pass slowly through the atrioventricular node to give the atria time to contract they then pass rapidly along the atrioventricular bundle which extends from the atrioventricular node through the fibrous skeleton into the interventricular septum the atrioventricular bundle divides into right and left bundle branches and action potentials descend rapidly to the apex of each ventricle along the bundle branches action potentials are carried by the purkinje fibers from the bundle branches to the ventricular walls the rapid conduction from the atrioventricular bundle to the ends of the purkinje fibers allows the ventricular muscle cells to contract in unison providing a strong contraction